Today, I wanted to share a little story about having the courage to ask for your worth or to stand in your light or your greatness or what you have to offer. And this is especially important for Black women, Latina women, or Indigenous women because we get paid the worst, the least out of everybody. So several years ago, I was really feeling called to ask for a raise in my job. I had been doing that job for a few years and I was really killing it, single-handedly doing, really turning the tide on a number of things in the organization. And so looking at what I know some of my peers were getting paid, I put together a whole case for getting a raise. I put the number, I put the research, I put proof of what I have done um, and really explained all that it took to get that work done. I presented that to my manager and in the course of presenting it to her, she was like, well, you sound entitled. And first of all, that coming from a female manager was insulting. But also the fact that I should just be grateful for what I'm getting, for going above and beyond consistently, like not just one or two times, but consistently giving the extra effort, going the extra mile. And I felt like that was, that was warranted, right? I didn't think I was out of bounds for asking for a raise. And it's not like I was asking for, you know, high six figures, I just wanted to be at the very least at the low end of what I knew, um, you know, people of that role of that status within an organization were making. And, um, and I didn't feel like that was too much to ask. I mean, in reality, I should have asked for more, but, um, you know, it was, it was nerve wracking just to ask for that, but I knew I deserved it. And when she said, you sound entitled, that, that really blew my mind um, because in that very moment, I did not feel appreciated. I didn't feel seen, certainly. And as I said, it felt insulting. But despite all of that, I did not back down. I didn't back down um, because I knew that I was worth that and more. And I knew that I was kicking ass and taking names. So you can think what you want to think. But so essentially we ended the meeting where I was like, okay, we'll get back to me. <laughs> and fast forward, um, I ended up getting the raise. But what I discovered, and I ended up getting exactly what I asked for, which that was that was the win. But what wasn't the win was this individual's um, effort, the extra effort that she made to make sure she put me in my place, to make sure that I knew that she didn't think, um, you know, that I was worth that. She wanted to make sure that she knocked me down a peg by saying, you sound entitled, but still giving me exactly what I asked for, you know, after she had to do, um, her research and all that good stuff. But the, the fact of the matter is, I stood in my power. I stood in what I knew my worth was, but I should have asked for more. But that is the message that I want to share with you. Any of you who are nervous about asking for a raise, who are nervous about asking for a promotion, who are afraid to go for that bigger thing, wherever that is, whether it's in the same organization or someplace else, um, you know that you have value. You didn't just drop out of the sky and start doing what you're doing. You had to work your way up and build skills and get experiences and take a bunch of L's to get where you are right now. And that's worth something. That is worth you asking for a raise, even if it's not exactly what you deserve, asking for a little bit more, right? Like get proof that you can ask for what you need, right? But, you know, do your research, prepare, 
do your own confidence building to prepare you to help you feel that extra oomph, that extra sense of worth and confidence and competence in what you do to ask, to make your ask with, um, you know, with your whole chest, right? Without question that you deserve at least that, right? But probably more. But again, I just want you to walk away with the conviction that it is important for you to be entitled. That's really what this boils down to. Be entitled because you are worth the extra money. You are worth the, the extra visibility, the extra recognition. If you're putting in your time and you're doing the work and you are showing up as your true authentic self and doing it with integrity, then you deserve to stand in your light. You deserve to get everything that you're worth and more. As Alison Bird says, you are worthy of massive compensation. So um, that's, my, that's my message for today. Be entitled. Asterisk, especially for Black women, Latina women, and Indigenous women, because we are at the bottom of every equal pay chart that there is. But if you are, you know, if you are not a person of color and you are still killing the game, it is important for you to also stand in your worth, stand in your power, stand in the value that you bring to a situation, stand in the, the benefit and the strength and the skills that you bring to any table of any room that you walk into because you are worth it. So be entitled. <laughs>